Hey everybody. Okay, um, a lot of you guys were asking about my eye look yesterday. And so I wanted to just quickly do, I did the same eye look on this side and I just wanted to quickly do it on this side to show you guys how I did it. Um, so I first started out with Astute, the transition color. It's just a light brown on a blend, on a blending brush. And I'm just going to do a quick windshield wiper motions to cover the lid and go, since I have hooded eyes, I go up a little bit farther above my crease. If you're watching the replay, which I know most of you end up doing, um, hashtag replay for me so I know what time most people are watching. And if you're jumping on, say hey. That way, maybe I'm not talking to myself. Okay. So, we've got that laid down. And then I'm going to go in with this really pretty, it's called Nonsensical. And it's like a kind of a purpley brownie. Color. And I'm going to first go in with a fluffy brush and just kind of go right over that same area, but just more precisely. I'm not going to be so sloppy about it. One trick to when you have hooded eyes is to do your um, eyeshadow with your eyes open. That does help. Okay, and now I'm going to go in <clears throat> with a more precise brush right here, the same color, and I'm just going to put it in my crease in the, um, outside, in the outside V to kind of build that color up. So you can make these colors, you can blend them out so they're softer. And to do that, you'd use a more fluffy brush, or you can build the color up so it's a deeper color with a more denser brush and not blending it out so much. I feel like the light, the lighting's kind of weird. Okay, we need to, the other side's a lot darker, so we need to kind of blend it in and make it look more the same. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, the same fluffy brush, and I'm going to kind of just blend it through. Sorry, I just got a phone call. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a, just a dab of a purple, more purple color, it's called Fervent, just to kind of brush through there. And then, to finish it off, I'm going to use, for the lid color, just a matte pink. And it's this one right here called Hesitant. I'm just going to use my pinky finger. It's 
So, see how pretty that is? And that's three colors. Super, super easy. And what you can do too is, um, this is a brush cleaner. It's really nice. You can spray it on your brushes in between colors and then um, wipe the color off your brush so you're not getting muddy, color, muddy colors. And then I'm just going to take that very first color that we had that I used as transition color on a denser brush and bring it below my eyes. Super simple, easy eye look. Um, I only have this eyebrow done, so let me hurry and do this one. I'm using our Brow Obsession palette in the color um, Burnette. And I'm just taking an angled brow brush. And sweeping it through. The trick for me to make my brows easier to do is to make sure that I have them um, already shaped and my brows are like super, super blonde. So I go through and I dye them about every six weeks. I do it myself and that helps so that my brows are already the same color for the most part as I'm trying as the, as the color that I'm putting on them okay and the trick to do in your eyebrows is taking like a pencil brush like this and to shape them up, you want to hold it next to your nose and straight up, and that's where your first, that's where your brow would start. And then this to where your eye is, and that's where your brow would end. Actually, based on that, I need to take my brow down lower. Let's see. Um, so, and that's where your brow would end. And then your arch, you take it and you hold it here and look straight. And then you would put it right through your pupil. So wherever your pupil is, that's where the brow would start. And you can take like a pencil brush or like a, um, like a white eyeliner and you can map it out. So you can take this, take it off and then actually go like this. And then make a dot on your face, a dot on your face, and then a dot on your face. And then you can start to just like plucking your eyebrows and shaping them up. A little at a time. You don't want to go crazy all at once and then have no eyebrows. Um, the other thing that I always, I remember reading that you never, never, never pluck above your eyebrows. You always pluck below and so that's what I've always done. I've always let my above my eyebrows grow and plucked below and it kind of gives you, as you can see, it kind of gives you, I mean they're higher and so it gives you more of a lifted eye look. An eye lift. A natural eye lift. Okay. And then Let's just quickly do my eye, um, my mascara. And for this, I'm going to use our th 3D mascara. And so it's a, it's a two-step mascara. You start out with a transplant gel, which is really just a f um, fancy name for mascara. So you start out with a transplant gel, and then you do the fibers. 
and then you do the transplant gel again. And the fibers can be done in multiple layers to build it up. And the trick to this is you want to work fast because you want to put the fibers on while the mascara is still wet. Oh man, I'm getting mascara all over my lids. Okay, this is the transplant gel. And if you can see, I mean the fibers, they're just, I was surprised at what they were at first. I was thinking I had a dried out tube of mascara. So um, they're almost kind of like cotton. So I found the trick is to kind of like roll them really tight on the back of your hand like this. Oops. When I was first using them, I think I was using this wrong. I think I was like putting as many fibers on my lashes as I could to build them up. And that's when I found that they were looking clumpy and sp I guess spider leggy would be the right word. Um, and so, less is more. Do a little at a time. And then you can let um, the fibers just sit on there for a minute and kind of dry up on there, but for the sake of time and not sitting here twiddling my thumbs while you guys are on live. I'm just going to do it. But if you wait like five minutes, it will help so that you don't get fibers back in your transplant gel. And it will help the transplant gel last longer. So they don't dry out. So see, I got just a little fiber right there. And it'll just come right off when I with a makeup brush. Unlike the mascara that I've got all over on top of my eyelid. Okay. And then I don't do it on my lower lashes, but at least the fibers. So I'm just going to take this. I don't do the fibers on my lower lashes, but I'll do just the transplant gel, which again is just like mascara. And that's that. Quick, easy, simple eye look. And then, obviously, most important step at the end of your routine. 
is to spray your face. So what you just did doesn't slough off after a couple hours. Okay, thanks for watching you guys. Let me know if you need any of these products um, and have a good day.